Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today we're just doing a quick video here. I want to show you what a post frame building post looks like that's been in the ground about 30 years. So this building that we're in right now came with the land that we just bought and I was really excited about turning it into a shop to work on my tractor projects and park some of the cars in. But that's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought and I'm gonna show you why in just a second. So this building was built locally uh, by a local uh, supply distributor. I don't wanna say their name because even though this wasn't their fault, people are still gonna freak out and probably blame the manufacturer. You know how the internet is. So it was a local manufacturer and a local builder. And I have a friend who works for the, the manufacturer supplier who was looking in to get an exact date on this building uh, because according to satellite images, the oldest one I could find was 1992. So it's probably 30 to 35 years old. That's the best we can tell right now. But here's what a post looks like that's been in, buried in the ground for 30 plus years. All right, so we're down about just shy of four feet right now. And yes, I did dig this by hand because back rows are expensive. Never underestimate the willpower of one idiot with a shovel. But this is what the corner post looks like. There's not much corner post left. Also, we have the grade board here. Close to 50% gone in places. So all that was... Uh, uh, in contact with the earth and this is kind of a sandy gravel mix mostly we did find some pockets of uh, topsoil but mostly stone and rock uh, mixed with sand in this area around the building I'm going to try and finish digging this hole see what the rest of this post looks like because it does get bigger as we go deeper but this section here about a foot to two feet under the ground is 90 to 95 percent gone okay so we're all the way down uh three and a half feet maybe right here um but we've hit concrete around the uh what's left of the post so that's about where she ends i'm probably going to get the d2 out and, and pull that out of here after i disconnect what's left of the post so that I can set a, a new footing in there and then put a, a perma column on top of that. So what does this mean? Well, you can see why most contractors are going now to either perma columns or wet set brackets or even setting them on pre-poured uh, footing walls because uh, eventually post in the grade board is going to rot out. Grade board, not so tough to replace. Post is gonna be a bit more work. And that's not the only one. Uh, this is on the back wall here. Uh, this is front wall right next to the other one. I don't wanna excavate, completely excavate more than one post at a time. So I'll have to wait and see how bad these are. But thing is, if the one in the corner is that bad, the rest of them can't be that far behind and none of them look to be good. Like, I, I'm amazing this building is standing as solid as it is right now. Uh, some preliminary checks do show that it's shifting a little. Not as... Maybe it wasn't that square when they built it. Maybe it was. I don't know. But it's it's a little bit out of square and plumb right now. Probably because that corner has got to be sinking with the way that post was. So what am I going to do? Step one. Gut the barn, interior walls, ceiling, all that. Done. Step two, uh, we're gonna install Midwest Perma Columns underneath the rotting posts, which I'm gonna say at this point is all of them. Because um, even if there's some posts that aren't rotted, those Perma Columns are gonna last a lot longer. And like I said, this building's already been in the ground for 30 years, so. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm thinking I'm going to add wainscot to the bottom because that gray board's got to get replaced too and uh, cutting the steel at three feet and adding a, a wainscot nailer and that kind of stuff uh, would 
probably make doing that easier. So we'll see about that. But like I said, the main thing right now is we're going to get those perma columns ordered and keep digging and see what it looks like. So this project just got to be a lot bigger than I thought it was. But if anybody's wondering or thinking about building a post frame and just embedding the posts in the ground, uh, take another look at that and you might want to rethink that at least if you want your building to last. So as always guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.